the Gospel Reflection of the Day from the Congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. As the day begins, listen, reflect and live the Word of God, the best food ever for the storm. Welcome to today's Reflection, Friday, 8th September 2023. Today the Church celebrates the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. This feast originated in Jerusalem towards the end of the 5th century. With the whole Church, we honor Mary, the mother of Jesus. She was chosen in a special way to be the handmaid of the Lord and to play an important role in the history of salvation and in the mystery of our redemption. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 1, verses 1 and 18 to 23. The book of the genealogy of Jesus, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Now the birth of Jesus Christ took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Spirit. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name shall be called Emmanuel which means God with us. The Gospel of the Lord. The Gospel reading is the genealogy of Jesus as given by Matthew at the beginning of the Gospel. It begins with Abraham, the father of God's people, and there follow many names from the biblical account in the Hebrew Testament. It is a very mixed group of people, including the very good and not so good at all. There are also four women in the list, each of them with a special interest of their own. It represents the very diverse history of loyalty and infidelity which was the story of God's people. Jesus, the incarnate Son of God, is truly identified with our world. And the birth of the incarnate Messiah comes through Mary. It is not surprising then that we celebrate the birth of such a person in a very special way, and that she herself in preparation for this, should be blessed with special favors and graces. Mary, from the first moment of her existence, was totally conformed to the will of her son, and so deserves the special glory which she merited after death. Like Mary, all of us have been called by God to be conformed to the image of his son, so that he becomes the first among many brothers and sisters. Mary too was of course, even as mother, totally conformed to the way of her son. Let us pray. God of life, as we celebrate the birth of Mary, help us to be grateful for the gift of life. Like Mary, may we listen to your word and treasure it in our hearts. Bless all mothers and reward them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You've been listening to the Gospel Reflection for today from the Congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. Remember to listen, reflect and live the Word of God, the best food ever for this world.